what we'll cover here from the study guide. Define the roles that are used in Snowflake. Roles-based access control are back. Explain the role hierarchy and role types. And look, guys, I uh, split up uh, basically this chapter into two parts. Uh, in the second part, uh, second part uh, next, uh, we'll be looking at uh, object privileges. Copy and paste uh, the content of the attached SQL file into a new SQL worksheet, okay, in your uh, free trial uh, Snowflake account. And uh, look, guys, uh, what we have here uh, is a script in two different parts. Yeah. In the first part here, what I'll do, I'll simply create users and roles, okay, and I will use a built-in uh, system uh, role, uh, predefined role, user admin. For this one okay in the second part i will switch to the built-in uh, role security i mean uh, to do what uh, to grant to grant uh, basic uh, roles to roles and uh, you see here i'll grant roles to users yeah uh, this could be confusing uh, honestly because initially this has been confusing to me yeah why we are using grant uh, that's a way you can assign basically the privileges of a role to another role so basically you create a role hierarchy okay some roles will inherit the privileges of other roles and uh, you do this uh, between roles and uh, you create also on top yeah for some roles uh, when you say okay grant uh, uh, grant a role to a user here at the end this means that uh, yeah yeah a user uh, basically is someone who can connect yeah, to to a snowflake account uh, otherwise it's pretty similar to a role but yeah there are huge differences yeah there are huge differences however however you see when you grant uh, one or more roles to the to a user this means that uh, that specific user has all the privileges yeah inherited for from those roles Okay, guys, so buckle up and let's go. Uh, I try to keep it everything very simple and I try to use create and replace, create or replace user roles and so on because uh, just in case you uh, you want to run this script uh, several times, uh, you'll get the same result, okay? So uh, let's switch to user admin and uh, keep in mind that I could use also here security admin, okay? Security admin, yeah, you can see next. This inherits from user admin, but uh, user admin can be used to create users and roles. This is what they say, and uh, here, yeah. Let's run this all together. Create and replace user, okay? There could be other optional parameters here, like password and so on, but uh, now le le let's keep it very simple, very basic, okay? So uh, I already run this before, so I think everything will be recreated, and I want to show the user, yeah? It's very simple, show users, you see? John and Mary are here, okay? Remember that this is automatically converted and saved in uh, uppercase, okay? I keep it case insensitive, uh, case insensitive here, I don't care, okay? And uh, yeah, you can see here different properties of, uh, of the users, yeah, with show users, okay? Uh, remember these comments, they are very simple and uh, they can help you out also when you uh, gain more experience. Create or replace a role, okay? Role. Once again, you have users and roles. And look, we will create uh, two different layers of roles. Yeah, we will look at the diag diagram next. We'll create database access roles and functional roles, okay? That uh, they may act like user groups, yeah, because we don't have user groups in Snowflake and uh, yeah, sometimes we, we create this two-layer uh, hierarchy of roles, okay? So create or replace a read-only role, read-write role, okay? Uh, you can expect that they will be assigned for different objects in a read-write, read-only mode, okay? And at the top, you have uh, what we call functional mode, okay? Someone may act as an administrator, editor, guest, and uh, you, you can see. This is like a user group, basically. And uh, yeah, let's show roles, okay? Let's show the roles again, and uh, yeah, you can see. I have other roles in the system here because all these roles, yeah, in user in this case, are at the account level, okay? And I can see everything that I created in uh, other circumstances, okay? Let's switch to security admin, yeah, okay? You can see uh, here, if you are in the, uh, in the SQL worksheet, uh, that uh, this role will change here on the top also, you see? Usually, until now, we executed everything with uh, account admin, and that now it became security admin. So that's about the context. Yeah, we'll talk more about this uh, in the incoming lectures. But uh, for now, yeah, keep in mind that you can change it from here if you want it. Yeah, the, the effect will be the same. Yeah, this will execute the use role. Okay. 
And look what's interesting now, because uh, I want what uh, everyone, admin, editor, guest, has the uh, functional, top functional roles to inherit from uh, read-only. Okay, they will have read-only access to any kind of object I will create. Okay, that's good. And uh, then I will do the same, you know, with, uh, let's see, let's see what we have here. Okay, uh, this should be read-write, yeah, because right now I switch to read-write. And look, I will do this, yeah. Let's separate this one. I will grant read right, yeah, to everyone, yeah. But then, so remember this syntax: uh, grant role to role, okay? Grant role to role, because you will have as a grant uh, role to user, you will have grant uh, privilege to whatever, yeah. This is where this may get tricky, and uh, you may get some questions as the as the exam where you'll have to prove that you understood, yeah, this kind of. Uh, uh, statements and uh, they may not ask you directly the statement, but uh, you 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 should know what's behind. This, this is what I try to prepare you with uh, this kind of hands-on uh, experiments. Yeah, short experiments, short and focused. Okay, we realize that hey, uh, a guest should not have the read-write role. What to do? What to do? Well, this is what to do: revoke the role from. Okay, so. This will undo, basically, the last command, grant role, okay? And, uh, yeah, we can uh, show, you see, we already have two different flavors also for show grants. That's another command, yeah, show grants that, uh, oh, my God, there are so many things inside. <laughs> I'll not go there. But if you want to show the grants that uh, you allocate it to guest with to, you see, when you said to here. Okay, we did what? Uh, we allocated only the read-only role because we revoked the read-write role. Okay, this is good. Show grants of role guest. Okay, and this would be interesting also because no, uh, no, nobody will uh, uh, further inherit yeah from uh, from a guest. Yeah, a guest didn't propagate any any privileges. Yeah. Okay, guys, and uh, look, what they recommend, yeah, and we look, we look immediately as a role hierarchy is to link somehow the, the top roles to the sysadmin. Yeah, that's the best uh, recommendation. Uh, don't ask me why I criticized a bit what they did, a snowflake, but uh, you may get dangling roles and uh, look, an administrator may not see them at well if uh, <laughs> you leave them there uh, as such, okay? And then let's see what we have here. Yes. We created roles. Uh, we'll have to uh, grant some uh, roles to transfer some roles to some users right now. And uh, we created John and Mary. Yeah? We want John to be an administrator and uh, we want Mary to be an editor. Okay. And yeah, you, you may have similar comments like this one show grants to user. Okay. To user John. You see how similar it is. And yeah, you can see that uh, John is an admin. Okay, okay, uh, so this is a role hierarchy. And uh, lo look at the, the boxes in um, blue, in dark blue, because they contain named of uh, built-in uh, built system-defined uh, roles. Uh, you'll have to remember those. Yeah? Look also in the documentation exactly what they are supposed to do, what we're supposed to do with them. Okay, but keep uh, keep in mind their names, all of them. Yeah, the blue ones, uh, dark blue, because the other ones we just created some, and you have a database role on the left side here, because yeah, you may have other kind of roles, database roles, application roles, and so on. They may not go uh, too deep uh, into this one, but uh, check also the practices because I have a few. Uh, questions there where, uh, yeah, I may pass additional information. In the meantime, let's review all this because it's important. On top, you have an account admin, okay? I was always, almost always until now, an account admin. So this is your account administrator, as you may expect. And yes, you may get an org admin if you have multiple accounts in your uh, organization, multiple separate Snowflake accounts, okay? Uh, under account admin, you see, you have a left branch, a right branch. Let's have a look. Security admin and user admin. Okay, we used both. We used both, and we've seen that this is basically to manage the, the RBAC, what we call the uh, role-based uh, uh, access control. Okay, security admin to, to grant objects, user admin, and yeah, this could be used to create users and uh, roles. Okay. At the basis, yeah, uh, at the basis, every new role, yeah, will inherit from a so-called uh, pseudo role public, okay? But public, by default, does not, cannot see any objects, okay? Uh, 
you'll have, yeah, we'll see next in the next lecture how to grant uh, privileges on objects as well to different custom roles. Okay, custom roles or yeah, yeah, custom roles only because for the built-in roles, yeah, you cannot do this. They already have a sign privilege. Let's have a look at the right branch, sysadmin. Okay, sysadmin. Yeah, you'll see next that uh, this may uh, create. This is designed to create different objects, yeah, database objects and so on. Okay, and uh, right here below, yeah, we already created a bunch. Yeah, you, you can see the hierarchy right now. What we did before, we created an admin, editor, guest as functional custom roles. Okay, upper layer roles. They act like user groups, and uh, we linked this at the end to sysadmin, okay? Because otherwise, uh, we, we don't want to have dangling uh, dangling roles here, okay? Uh, you see, with the dangling roles, the account admin cannot see uh, cannot see them, okay? That's not good, yeah? That's how they design this one, but whatever. And then we have basic, you see, database custom roles. Yeah, read, write, read only. So once again, this is just... Uh, a logical separation because uh, otherwise all of these are called uh, custom roles and uh, yeah you may build whatever hierarchy you you want with uh, grant role to role okay but uh, it's good to have some uh, some good uh, design you know uh, and some uh, some best practices uh, in mind We'll see later on, uh, looking uh, at the basis here, that uh, yeah, we'll go into object privileges. This is why we created these roles, because after all, we want to create some objects and to get uh, privileges to these objects, to be able to access these objects. But uh, let's have a look on the top for now. Yeah, we created uh, two users, John and Mary. You see that we, we use also the grant command uh, to um, grant role to user, okay, to assign some roles or some role or some roles uh, to users, okay. You see our hierarchy in the middle, okay, let's see what else. And yeah, as I said before, yeah, we'll uh, dig deep, deeper in the next lecture into the object privileges.